Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am on my way to another city, which is Seattle. So I'm going from Houston, Texas to Seattle and this is Becky. She's gonna join me on this journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome and I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to give this video a huge like and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. And let's get um, our weekend trip to Seattle started. We arrived in Seattle at midnight and thank goodness we were able to catch this public um, train back to downtown Seattle. So now we're going to check into our hotel. This is the beautiful lobby. I'll give you a very quick room tour. So this is the living room and here is the bathroom. What the hell? I mean, we can go through the closet. What? <laughs> we could just go through the freaking closet. <laughs> so I will show you um, the view of the night. It's not as pretty as I expected, but I will show you a better view in the morning. So as promised, um, this is the view of Seattle downtown. We live very close to um, downtown area. We actually live like five minutes away from Chinatown. This is astonishing view of Seattle. I'm in love with it. I really hope you, you like it as well because I can just look at this view all day, every day. So what's on our agenda today? It's Saturday. We do have an, an important event to go to. Um, that's the main reason why we're here in Seattle. I'll take you along with me and I hope you like it though. I'm thankful that Becky was able to get us a complimentary breakfast during our time here in Seattle and in the hotel. And I'm glad that um, the hotel allows us to have a buffet style, allowed to gather back in person. So for breakfast today, this is, we have scrambled eggs, some, I believe this is baked potatoes, or yeah, I'm not sure what that is. And we also have a bunch of desserts and toast and bread. Very delicious breakfast to be on. And that's Becky, hello. And as usual, I would need um, my daily cup of coffee to keep me awake and alive. And they even have a Starbucks coffee. How awesome. Uh, I need a lot of hazelnut creamer. I'm a huge fan. Let's just say that I enjoy taking a while to drink my coffee and just relax and take it slow in the morning. We're going to Chinatown. So Chinatown is literally across the bridge from our hotel, which is like five minutes away, which is very convenient for us if we want to grab anything. So uh, before going to an event later on this afternoon, we're going to just go to Chinatown, explore a bit, grab extra food, even though we just had breakfast. Historic Chinatown Gate in Seattle. We also discovered Kino Kuniya Bookstore. I hope I spell that correct. It's like a Japanese bookstore, and there's also a Japanese market in here as well. It is very large um, area, so we're so excited to go into this Japanese market. And let's just say that 
Becky and I are in love and very surprised at how big this Japanese market is. It is like paradise here, to be honest. Can I just live here already, please? <laughs> ah, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Since we are in Chinatown, we might as well grab boba tea and legit, this place is called Seattle Best Tea. Let's check it out to see if it's really the best milk tea Tourist in Seattle. Okay. Just a disclaimer, I've tried many milk tea uh, brands already, so I'm excited to try this one, but at the same time, a little bit anxious because I usually don't think um, companies or brands that say they are the best actually the best. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Try it. Is it good? It's really fine and it's still pretty good. Really? It still tastes like tea. Mm -hmm. tea. Okay. It's still sweet. Yeah. 25 is still sweet. Yeah, I don't go sugar. Is she really back. 25? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sure. Um, you can just leave them, uh, um, set them down there. <laughs> Kimiko might be a little shy. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you so yeah. much. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Na. Later that um, afternoon, we got picked up by our friends uh, to go to the event, more like a wedding. So this is Antu and her fiancé, soon to be husband. The wedding venue is pretty far away, so the groom and bride uh, hired this private bus just to take us um, to that destination. There are some other guests that meet us directly there, so that should be cool. I am obsessed with number 11 because it's my birthday date and month, so I'm so excited that I got seated at table 11 as well. This is where the main wedding ceremony is gonna be. You never thought that before this, it was pouring raining and now the weather is just perfect.
it's the next day and the last day that I'll be here in Seattle. It's Sunday. Not the best weather, to be honest. It was pouring raining the whole entire day. Uh, but I guess it doesn't stop us from traveling and visiting um, the downtown area of Seattle and many tourist places as well. The first touristy location of the day is the Pike Place Market. Pike Place Market is a Seattle's original farmer's market and the center of locally sourced artisan and specialty foods. My friend recommended me to visit Beecher's, which is a artisan cheesemaker and retail shop with location in the Pie Place Market in Seattle. And they produce uh, fresh homemade cheese with no artificial or any unorganic uh, ingredients. We order a classic grilled cheese. You can see a lot of cheese in it. Um, Becky is busy taking photos. But let me try it and I give you a, a short review. Just to jump in here, um, I personally find the grilled cheese really delicious. It's not too fatty or too greasy. It tastes very fresh. Um, it does have a little bit of smell to it, like a typical cheese smell. So if you can't overcome that, then I wouldn't highly recommend you try. But it's pretty edible. Initially, we wanted to try this poke place uh, within a small building in Pike's Place, but it was closed for some reason that day, so we came across this seafood uh, restaurant, which is busy, very busy as well. So Becky wanted to try the oyster. I'm probably going to get clam chowder. So I order a um, pot or a regular size of clam chowder and it's a lot to be honest for only like eight to nine dollars. Um, my first initial impression was it was good. 
However, I wasn't very impressed compared to the clam chowder I tried in Boston because the clam chowder in Boston, in my opinion, it tastes um, creamier and more rich. Whereas this one, it tastes um, very liquid, but at the same time, it has a lot of black pepper and I'm not a huge fan of pepper. If you did not know that Pike Place is where Starbucks first opened its uh, store offering fresh roasted coffee beans, tea, and spices from around the world for its customer to take home. Can you guess where we're going for our next destination? Leave a comment down below for me. A hint is the next destination is also the most iconic place in Seattle. You have guessed it, we are heading towards Space Needle. The Space Needle features an observation deck, which is 520 feet above ground, providing views of the downtown Seattle skyline, the Olympic and Cascade Mountains, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Elliott Bay, and various islands in Puget Sound. Later that evening, we went uh, to meet a friend, a very long time friend. Um, we actually haven't seen each other for 10 years because he moved to the United States uh, when we were back in middle high school age. So it's great that we're able to reconnect this time. And of course, we are eating at my most favorite restaurant in the entire world, Ding Tai Fung. Why I love this restaurant is because you can see they are freshly homemade xiaolong bao or dumplings um, and they are super delicious and reasonable pricing. Unfortunately, Ding Tai Fung is not available on the east coast, it is only available on the west coast. Therefore, every time I have an opportunity to go to Seattle or California, I would try to make reservation for this restaurant. After dinner, my friend said that we need to visit this place. This is another Starbucks, but this is Starbucks roastery and tasting room. At the Starbucks reserved roastery and tasting room, it is a place where you can experience coffee from the unroasted bean to your cup of coffee. You can watch it being roasted, you can see the burlap sacks it comes in, and you can watch it being loaded into the green coffee loading pit. If you ever have a chance to come to Seattle, come and have a coffee immersion. It's just 9 blocks away from the original Starbucks, and it, the experience is all about the coffee. We ended the evening by watching a movie in the cinema, um, Doctor Strange, if you haven't heard of it. And guess what? Wow. We have a very special delivery to our room by this Ooh. cutie. Wait, what? We just get this, what? Yeah. And this? This? Oh. Okay. Thank you. All set. Bye. Bye, Newton. Newton, whatever your name is. <laughs> I like it. The next day, I catch an early flight back to Washington, D.C. So it's sad to end my trip here. But thank you, Becky. And thank you, Joan. Thank you, Anto, for um, having us or meeting us in Seattle. It was such a beautiful journey. 
I really hope、uh, to see you guys again one day very soon. And as of right now, thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope you like my short、uh, weekend getaway、um, trip. And this is actually my first time in Seattle, so it was such a beautiful memory. I hope you like it. Please do not forget to give this video a huge like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.